Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey, Megan. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. So let's do another Dev Problem of the Week today. Um, I found something great on UX, uh, UX Stacks Exchange. I hope you'll like it. It's a strange one. Let's see if we can fix it. I'll share my screen. Let's see if I can do something about it. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, let me share you also the link to, um, to Whimsical so we can play together on this. Okay, awesome. Great. So, let's try, let's read it, you know, um, and let's try to just synthesize a problem. What's the problem, you know, in, in one post-it. Hmm. But right now, for what I see is <clears throat> allowing bulk action in detail view. It's not exactly a detail view. It's a, it's a transfer list. It's a, com a component that we, that, um, and, um, a long time since I, I used it. You know, you can transfer something into another list on your uh, right. So you have stuff and selecting something. So it's a transfer list. So um, who's, who's said that? The, uh, her name is, oh, no, her name is Hannah. So Hannah said, I have a table view with possibly thousands of records. I should be able to select multiple, you know, items, of course, via checkbox, and also change the view to display a list of those records, just details of the active items. Oh, okay, so it's a component to actually view things. You're selling a transfer list to view something. Mm. Okay, active doesn't mean selected. Bulk selection in this detail view is still possible. Okay, so we're selecting a bunch of items. If I have two items selected, what do you expect the behavior to be? If you click on a new item, uh, for example, to preview if this one you want to add to a selection, we don't want to clear the selection. Okay, so you can select a couple of other items, even if you select a bunch of them already. Currently, there are different uh, different states: select and active. Select and active. Hmm. Huh. What do you expect an active item to be automatically add to the selection? Wow. Okay, so there's a couple of options. If one item is selected, then instead of details, should be one item selected. But the problem is when there's a selection, we can see the details to make sure we're adding the right item. So if they selected, you want to have the details to know if the right one. Okay. And we always show the details of the active item. Problem when an acting on selection, we might not be acting the one we're viewing the details of if it is not selected. Oh God. Okay. That's not an easy problem. I'm I'm a little bit confused about the selected Same. and active state. What I wonder what that means. So select. Oh, oh hang on. I know. So she, I wonder if she means selected as in that list item is highlighted, but I didn't check the checkbox. Oh. Uh, so active mean in the page somewhere. You have the details. It's active. You can see it. That's that's the tool. Active. And you does can not select a bunch of active. items to actually see it. So um, here on the checklist, I can select or deselect. So the only question is what what active means in this case, I think. Change the display list of the records. Of the oh. active item. Huh. So, do and you think it's the right? Yeah, go on. I was going to say there's also this comment about previewing. So, if I already have two items selected, what do we expect the behavior to be if we clicked in a new item, a third item? So, preview a third item that you want to add to the two selected. So two selected means two check checked. We don't want to clear the selection. We want to preview number three. So hmm. it, I wonder, is preview the same thing as active? Because active does not mean selected. And she's saying that there are different states, selective, selected, and active and not selected. So 
I wonder if active means this preview state. I can say that, huh? Let, 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 let's uh, use this uh, this uh, assumption. Hmm. Um, yeah. So active mean I'm previewing it. Hmm. And then I can select a bunch of other items I want to preview. But doesn't mean that when I'm selecting them, I'm previewing them. I'm just making this intentional action to uh, preview them. So make them active. Is it that? Is it make them active or just preview? Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> <clears throat> I think how we answer this depends on how we interpret the question. So if we interpret it one way, it could be something. If we interpret it a different way, it could be something else. So if we're interpreting it to mean you can have selected, meaning checked off, or we have active, meaning I'm previewing it, but I haven't checked it yet. I just want to check out what's there. And if the problem and the question is, how do I preview? I don't know if I want to add it to my selected or not, um, but I don't want to lose everything. I might have already clicked 99 checkboxes. I don't want to start over just to preview. Um, Got, it. Got it. If that's how I'm interpreting it, then I almost kind of want to separate and say, first of all, maybe the content I want to preview, is it? possible to check out in a hover state because when I click that checkbox I expect it to be checked um, and we don't want to have conflicting interactions conflicting interactions kind of scary I don't want to lose the 99 I already clicked by accident so I think the problem is I want to preview without losing my selection mm. that's mostly the problem here I did a exactly what you said. I did a, a selection. Well, I think so. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I did a selection. Now I want to preview others and maybe add them to my selection. Hmm. Um, so, so, so that I and add them if I want um, to. So. Okay. You think it's it's the right frame? We we didn't we frame the problem right. We're trying um, to yeah. Let me cross reference these options that they brought up just to see if that's kind of the same angle they're thinking. So they're wondering if one item is selected, we could show one item selected, but then we don't see the details. So yeah. So here. They are bringing up the problem of not, they want a preview. So I think that's the point of the first bullet point. And then the second bullet point, we always show the details of the active item. When active on the selection. Uh, but, okay, so I think the point of the second one is maybe we're showing the active item, but when I'm about to submit, I'm actually not showing, I'm not submitting the active item. I'm submitting the other 99 I've selected, but I'm only seeing details. So here, if I'm looking at this example on the left, maybe that's what that's referring to. I could see the details for something that I didn't check. So when I hit submit, I might accidentally think these details are what I'm submitting, but this is actually just a preview. It's not related exactly. to when I'm clicking action one, action two. I feel we have we are using one component, uh, one component to do two things: mm -hmm. one to select, one to preview at the same time. We're trying to select something to go to the next step, whatever it is, and mm -hmm. we're trying to do this use the same selection to preview them. Mm -hmm. um, so the problem, I feel like we want to uh, to to have a component that do it all. Mm -hmm. um, but you you're right when you say, can I over on it? Can I can I you know preview without doing a, the selection, clicking on the checkbox? Is it possible? I think that would be a great solution. You know, 
um, I want to preview one or more item. And I want to select one more item. Sometimes I just want to preview them if I made the right choice. Mm -hmm. Or I want to do to, to go to the next step with what I selected. Right. I do want to take a step back for a second to this first introduction, though. And mm -hmm. I noticed here in the wireframe, um, they have the option of looking at this in a table view and in this details view mm. of the active item. But to me, I'm, I think we're missing a little context here. So yeah. taking this with a grain of salt, but I think a table usually gives the most interesting preview details. They're on the table. There's probably, oh. you know, at least probably three, four, five columns of, of little pieces of data. Um, let's say conservatively, there's three pieces of data. Usually those are the most important pieces of data that tells me information that I might want to act on. Um, and if that's not the relevant information, maybe it should be, or maybe there should be a different view. It doesn't necessarily have to lose that detail view. Uh, sorry, the table view. Um, can we grab, let's just have a visual reference for a table here maybe. Um, yeah. So let's say here's a table. Oh wait, is this a table widget? I'm not so, so this would be the name. Oh, maybe this is a, yeah, maybe. Name, um, owner, last updated, tags. Um, there could just be a couple items here. So this could be like A, B, C, D, F. Uh, Megan, Annie, Kira, um, tags can say like UX, um, and then if, especially if you have filters, <laughs> because, uh, I know I'm making, I'm kind of going a little bit sideways here, but I just wanted to mention if we can sort the table. That might be helpful um, if there's possibly thousands of records and it, maybe I want to grab all of the ones owned by Megan that has a UX tag Absolutely. or something. I, but if I, I'm trying to predict where you're going with this is you have a table view <clears throat> mm -hmm. and now you, you have to switch to a detail view. I feel like you could stay in a table view and have some preview in the table view. I feel like these columns, they should be the most important information. This should be kind of the preview. In so way, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering why we would lose this information and switch into this list view. Um, that's true. Uh, maybe because the bulk action, because that's a problem, you know, um, allowing bulk action in detail view um, is, um, is not that efficient with the, with the current table view. Um, and it's maybe sometimes easy to just add a, a bulk action component on top of a table, you know, versus, you know, uh, optimizing the table so you can do better bulk actions. Hmm. So if you can do bulk actions and you have all the, like you said, all the um, necessary information to preview, that's good enough. Now the detailed view can be a quick view on the side, could be, um, you know, a panel where you can have more information on your left or on the bottom, you click on it, you see more detail and it does not affect the selection. It could be, yeah. And in fact, you could do a couple other things too, like maybe the row could expand or collapse, expanding, collapsing. Um, and maybe you can interact with a row without clicking on the checkbox and then you can select the checkbox. Um, I, 
I'm writing the design rationale right now, um, just because we talked about it. So the table view should include mm -hmm. the most important details to make a selection. That's one. But if you need more information, but if you need more details, uh, you we can use XPen or you know panel view. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we can we have something like this, uh, you know, quick view or and details. You know, and the yeah. um, they can be links and quick view. You can select you know the quick view. Or you can, like you said, expand the um, the thing. But I, 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 my assumption is there's a lot of details. It is switching from details and tables. Yeah. So that's there's a blind spot here where we're not hundred percent mm. sure the reasoning behind this switch. And there could be a lot of valid reasons. Maybe like their particular use case and and everything. Um, yeah. I think the rationale that we would want to keep in mind, let's say we're sticking with this sort of structure, mm. is the interaction. Um, we don't want the interactions to oppose each other and conflict. So I don't want to be able to click something and uh, one thing happens sometimes and not other times. And then the same space that's used to communicate something is communicate something different at another time so that could be approached different ways maybe um instead of click maybe on hover i could uh Let, let's it. try one one solution because yeah we can there's a little you know a sea of opportunities what would be the best one let's come up with one for hannah today sure. this. and let's imagine there's a lot of details mm. about this mm -hmm. So you said ho hover. Um, yeah, that might not be the best though. If there's quite a lot of details, um, exactly, it might be a bit tricky. So let's say, let's let's kind of how do I? I'm I'm. By the way, do you think that um, they want details for multiple items at, at the same time, or just one after the other? Um, I think it's always nice if there's kind of a summary somewhere maybe not if i'm if i'm likely to select 300 things maybe i don't want 300 names listed in front mm. of me but it might be nice to see 300 selected and i don't think that 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 piece of information being communicated should overtake or um compete with the details i think that could mm. just be somewhere static even so let's pretend uh yeah. there's see what you mean action one action two and then there's their table and details toggle um so this is table so you would switch between tables and details and then, so for them, this one is just a single column of information. Let's say, so this is list item one. Let me see where is the problem now. Mm -hmm. They want to select a bunch of items, but they want to preview a bunch of items also. We so want to select and preview to, yeah. The problem is, there's a conflict here. You're using the same checkbox to bring you to the next step, or a same checkbox to preview them. So it's very hard to. So, yeah. So, you said something about filters. I think that's mm. that's that's the trick here. If you have a great details view, you should be able to filter whatever you want to preview and then select to go to the next action that that's that, i think we're we're we're, um, we're trying to fix a problem with the right uh, with with the wrong component here or the, with the wrong design 
you should be able to, mm -hmm. in details or in table without selection just without selection to be able to browse around to filter things to mm -hmm. you know to um yeah um just to filter things so there's a filters and there's a bulk action mm -hmm. and the filters that's where you may need um and the, i think that's the case here to manually select a couple of items mm -hmm. um but when a checkbox is used to you know, select things to go to the next session what's the um the thing we can is it you know a toggle where i can say view don't view or something like that how how can i do that that's strange so selecting easy now how i can filter manually most of filters is show me all the you know the data I start with a or from this low location but now how can i filter manual things manual items you see what i mean yeah yeah um i think that's a really good question if especially if there's like thousands of items here mm. um mm. so i'm just let's just say this is um the details view and there's like a, an extended table view at the bottom i'm assuming there's there has to be some way to scroll to filter to do something with this um and then if they because they actually have this one selected down here and two selected so i'm wondering what we're missing um because they did try that uh, and that could potentially leave if we're sticking as close as possible because we're missing some context likely um we're cl missing some context here that that could leave this space open for them to use it in a way that they want to to preview so they could use their keyboard and if they you know they highlight item four maybe that's where it could appear okay. let me ask you this question then how mm. would you highlight things in a table view so when i first saw this um i immediately thought of the keyboard um because normally i think that if i click anywhere on a list horizontally um, normally I'd expect the checkbox to just get checked off. This whole thing is one interaction. Hmm. Um, but not everyone uses the keyboard. So that's kind of like my thought there. So how would you select uh, items on multiple pages? So uh, for preview or for like checking? Ah, check so for checking, that's done. I think we're good, like, you know, for checking is done. For preview, what about having a column um, just for preview or what, another action per items just to preview them? Yeah, I um, think we would need, it would be nice to be explicit, like have a preview column here. Oops. Yeah, I think so. And have like a button down here. And then when you click it, then it triggers the details in that space. So, well, that's great. So then that's the name. So that would be select to do something or preview. Okay, let's see if that makes sense. Let's prototype it just for fun. Um, just put a checkbox so we can select or preview. So, that's weird. That's what we're doing here. We can preview or select and continue, let's say. So here I would add, you know, maybe another checkbox. That's a strange. I'll, I'll move these over. This can be one thing. Oh, I didn't see that checkbox. Oh. Just, you just have to remove the label and that's it. Um, mm. Let's try that just for fun. All the time in the world. That's a strange. But I, I, I do see the point where, you know, you're, you're doing some selection, but you also want, you know, to, to preview a bunch of items together. Um, why not? 
so the, the, the this the selection here doesn't has to be you like you said it's um it's in in the table view or in the details view but now we're in the table view right all right can mm. i put it down bold no okay so the table view right now is active so i'm selecting let's say this is a table view it's a tab details and not active table is active and now there's a, a bunch of other uh, stuff here um and now if i'm selecting something and i say i'm selecting one um select and now if i click select and continue i go on with my stuff if i'm selecting you know this this and this i click on preview so what about i think something like that three and two Ooh. let's try um, so I just have two selected. What do you think? Does that make sense? I can preview them without losing my selection. That's one goal. And I can go on with my selection. So if I'm in table and I quick I go to view, to table to details, mm. and click preview, even the in tables, oh, no, 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 no. The preview here, what I think it should be um, a toggle somehow. Do we have a toggle? Um, I always had trouble figuring out this toggle thing. Oh, we do have a toggle. Do we? Yeah, I think so. I saw it. Oh, wait, we have that, like this sort of, this thing? Yeah. So yeah. I love this because select so and continue, and we can bring back your, that's way better, by the way, what you did here, tree selection selected and what we can do here is show me only preview items so now it's half because it's it's a everyone but mm. let's duplicate it if I select on I'm moving. Can I remove a row easily? Oh, can I? Is it possible? Okay, too bad. Let's do that. Select. Select. And that. Oh, it's possible to remove a, a column, a row. Oh, yeah. Delete row. Delete row. Delete row. So, in show me only preview item, I just um, just see list, uh, list item two and four. I see that the last item four is selected. And good. And I can have that in details if I want to, right? And details so could would, be cards. This would so be can... checked, not this one, right? Which one? Well, list item four. This would be the preview. You mean? Yeah. Here it would be just a preview, but the list I am for here, it's it's a uh, oh yeah, it's true, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think this is interesting, but I think as a user, I would be There's kind of nervous in a way. There's a lot of problem with that, absolutely. Like, I want to preview it so that I can decide if I want to select. So if I'm trying to preview list item one, and then I say preview like select and continue, I guess, then, then I see the details, then I have to come back, then I select list item one, then I want to preview list item two, so I click that, two, three, and four, then I preview them, then I come back, and then I have to remember, okay, two and three I want, but not four. Yeah, you're right. Um... Hmm. So I think what we're stumbling on is also like how their workflow goes because we're making a bunch of different assumptions. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Or we're just uh, kind of guessing and seeing, oh, theoretically this this fits or this probably might not fit. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah. What, what, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But one one thing we we agree is to you know we don't want the select and the preview in conflict. That that's a right. big problem right now. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, I don't know how exactly to do that, but uh, selecting should 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 be you know left to selecting. Yeah, yeah. And preview, why not hiding something else? You know, um, how. You're right. The workflow. We don't know exactly what's the workflow. Do they want to mm. open a new page? Do they want to filter something? Because they can select mm -hmm. preview, for example, and use a facet to say, "Show me all only preview." You know, they can mm -hmm. use something like that to show show me only selected, show me only previews, only selected and preview. So, so, so this could be moved elsewhere in the facets on the on, on the on the left, for example, where they are filtering stuff. The, the the preview and the filtering is the same kind of behavior um you know uh when you're filtering you can filter the items mm -hmm. in different variables if you selected mm -hmm. if there's something in a column whatever it is let's just build a little something here on the left um whatever it is um you have to put to to offer a better um, a better filtering uh, tool in general if you have a table, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that we kind of just brushed over, but there's possibly thousands. Thousands could be like three thousand eight hundred. That that's, and if I only, if I select ninety nine, ninety nine is already a lot, but out of 3,500, that's like picking needles out of a haystack if I have to go back and look for them. So whatever the case, you need to provide a good way to filter all this data. Right, general. yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying facets, but there, there's so much other ways to filter. I think we have a good article about that, right? About filtering at a table. Yes. We do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so everything you need to filter things, why not move your preview filter near that, that stuff, you know? That, mm -hmm. that, are you okay with that? How do you feel about this? Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it because we still don't know why... Yeah. We are at a details view yeah. and not a table view because they did have the table view, which we could do a couple things there. Like the table already gives us several pieces of key information. And if they needed more, the row could expand or collapse. There could be some oh. other things going on. Absolutely. So, and then the table itself could have column sorting. So why move away from that we're missing like some background on on that my only assumption is yes you can filter things by, by sorting by filtering but somehow human will you know hand select a couple of items mm. and when they are you know manually selecting a couple of items i just want to see the item i selected manually yes yeah that, yeah i, I mean that, have, that, that's a, yeah I was going to say having more, even more control than just column filtering, column sorting is, is nice, but the column the workflow is, was, is like the, the, the basic even like the bottom. So if we're not even having that, which is kind of cheap or included or part of the, usually part of the library. Um, so if we're already moving away from that, we're missing some info. Was it, possibly overlooked maybe there's a use case that we're, we just don't know about or there's just some context there there could be reasons um and it's hard to kind of make a decision without 100 percent being aware so in theory i do like this idea of these facets but i'm not sure if it's I mean, uh, exactly we, yeah. yeah so one of our rationale is give the user a good way to filter a large set of data in general mm. that's baseline so once it's done, maybe you fix the problem without knowing, mm -hmm. maybe by giving them a, a good way to sort, to filter by columns or to create, 
you know filter by this column and this column but not this by and or and a little query here when you can mm -hmm. have your information and, and maybe save your filter so you can switch between different filters that's for sure um, and also make sure that the table view you know should include the most important details to make a selection like mm -hmm. you said at least in a table put a thing that um, you feel it is important so you can go to the next step yes mm. uh, we don't want the selected and preview to be mixed that's 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 yeah um yes i'm not sure anymore i think what we're proposing what's the what's, what's the um what's the solution for this case is to provide a way to select and view uh manual items near the filters or something i don't know how to explain this but give a way to a user a way to and select some items and just hide or show them but this is a strange things because we this is a strange thing because we don't know what's the workflow is it the right thing i don't know but what we did is we uh, separate the selection and the preview. Is it the right uh, solution? We don't know, but it's better than mixing everything in the transfer list, right? Mm. What do you think? Sorry, what was this last point? Provide a way to select and view manual items. What is the manual? I don't item? know how to explain, but this is the show me only the preview items or selected preview items. Maybe you can help me mm. write a better design question here. Let me think. The thing is, I don't know if I 100% agree with that because let's say I have 100 items yeah. that I, I, I kind of know I might need to select. I don't know if I want to preview three or four or five at the same time even. I might... Let's see the problem uh, again. Maybe yeah, I have two see. items on it. They selected and active. That's the thing. So the reason that I say that is because I'm a very forgetful person. <laughs> and if I preview something, I, I preview one thing, then I say, check, not check. I preview the next. I'm not going to preview multiple items and, and then go back and remember, okay, I want five and eight and 13, but not 16 and 12. Yeah. And what I see here, you're right. And we always show the details of the active item. So there's just one active item. I think that makes sense. Like cognitive load wise, we, we don't know how complex these things are complex enough, I guess, to have a table of view. It might be a lot to remember. Huh. So just one active item. So what's the deal here? Why? So yeah, if let's say we we remove all of this, we just want to see the detail of one active item, just one active item. Well, how can we do that? We can just, you know, show it in a, a panel somewhere or, you know, bottom or. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I think we did address that in this other approach over here. You just click the button. Let's pretend this is oh, the, this one. This let's choose a color pink. And then this is the pink thing. Can you make a color just for the selected item? But how you can yeah. select and, and uh, unselect an active item? That's maybe a problem right now, right? I don't know how you can unselect a preview. Hmm, that's a good question. And let's say that you selected something on page one and you're on page five. Do you just by clicking on the row, you're changing the preview? Yeah, I think I, I think it's just the one thing. You know, we can add a column with just a, a radio button and say you're selecting just with the radio button, you know, this is the one that you're that is active. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I think it could be a radio. It could be whatever it, could it is. Be could a, be a toggle. It could be a, just a view. Yeah, here I just put like a an icon. How do I make this transparent? 
I don't know how to make this. Well, <laughs> let, let's just help. duplicate this. We'll remove this and you know, this. You know what I mean? There's one yeah, of them selected. Delete <laughs> columns. And Wait, how then... do you delete a column? Oh, you have to. I don't remember exactly. She... Oh, you click on on uh, on the pen. Oh man, I'm okay. So I'm saying radio button because when we're talking about you know one selection, mm. the radio button come to mind as the first thing we have to do. Um, mm. But it can be something else. But you know, mm. basic, basic, basic. Without you know thinking too much, we can say that this item is active, we see the information is active, and that's it. Mm -hmm. We can just select one, right? Yeah, yeah. I see I see this kind of functioning the same way as these icons. Like you just select the one and it'll trigger something to the side or elsewhere. Where I, I see I see I see two things inter um here. I see a temporary viewing, you just mm -hmm. hover on it. You know, mm. but when you 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 know leave, you go back to the active. Um, whatever it is, um, you need um, an off and on or active and not active. So color is not uh, enough. It would be fun to mm. say active not active. This this mm. is why the radio button is so popular because everybody know what active not active or pre what's I currently previewing. But yeah, mm. whatever it is, um, it could be, could be that or it could be that. Um, but I would say, just an icon is can be, um, can be misleading, because an icon can be. I was gonna uh, say, I was gonna say the other way. This is where user testing would come in. Yeah, but an I was icon gonna and, say, yeah. <laughs> But an an icon in a table. What what it's uh, the common? What's the common um, the the common behavior you think for a user when there's an icon? Oh, um, clicking. I don't know, but I mean, I just grabbed some icon in this package, so I know there's a lot more thought that needs to go into icon and button design and all this. So exactly, exactly, um, but. Our intention yeah. is the same, is mm. I'll, I'll put that, but here or this, you know? Yeah. Side wave, whatever it is, test, whatever it is. But the goal yeah. is to is to provide a way. Let's uh, let's uh, write the design rational here. How would you write the design rational for this specific thing? I think um, provide a distinct way to preview that doesn't that's it provide a distinct, yeah, way, distinct to preview. way to preview yeah um to preview the active items item i mean because mm -hmm. there's just one Is it oh, simple cool. enough? Yeah. So what I will ask I mean, you yeah. now is mm. to <clears throat> synthesize what we did from the problem to the solution. So I'll bring the solution very near the problem. And if you can synthesize it for our listeners, that would be great. Yeah. So here we have a problem from Anna from Stack Exchange. What did we do in the last, you know, 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. sorry. I thought you meant like write, do the write up. Okay. No, so no, no, no. Just, yeah. <laughs> oh, just talk about it. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I think the first thing we did was try to put um, some context or our own assumptions out there, our own way that we're interpreting these things and trying to decide and get on the same page. And we might have gotten a couple of those things off, but just so that we know where we were headed, uh, where our starting point was and when we where we wanted to head. Um, I think that was important. 
And then as we explored different solutions, we wrote down our design rationale. So I think this is really great to think about the major decisions um, and assumptions. So giving the user a really good way to filter a large set of data in the table view or the details view, um, as we know there's going to be thousands and they're going to be choosing multiples in there. They don't want to lose it. So um, we also touched on the idea that table view, um, we're not sure why the designer moved away from table view and went into details view. So that's a little bit of a blind spot, but the table view should include the most important details to make a selection. And that mm -hmm. might be one possible way of addressing the issues, like actually using the table view to make the selections there. Um, this one, I guess it should have gone first, but we don't want the interactions to be in conflict with each other. So be previewing and selecting, we don't want to use the same interactions. We don't want to use the same space to communicate different pieces of data. Um, and that's related to this one. I think we can put like a little arrow here, um, providing a distinct way to preview the active item. This is um, important. And here, like say here, um, one thing that we did was um, we communicate the, th the summary, three items selected, maybe 99 items selected down here, which um, they actually had already. And then this kind of gives a confirmation if you want to do your action. Um, and then the distinct preview method of previewing, which you know, you'd have to think further about um, the type of icon, radio button, maybe user testing is involved, maybe a word, um, something else. Um, you could use this potentially, this um, original structure and have a way to explicitly call out this action and have one dedicated area just for those previews there. Yeah, thank you, Megan. So I hope it's uh, helping you, Hannah. Um, and yeah, if you have any other problems like that, don't hesitate to you know, send, send us uh, the problem by using the comment section or go on the website. We have a section for Dev Problems of the Week. Um, there it is. Um, thank you, Megan. It was fun. That was a strange one. Uh, I love a, I love a good, you know, data table challenge. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. See you soon, everyone. Bye, Megan.